Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing session. We'll be covering the merging of documents feature within SageTron Devolution. Now, the merging of documents is a useful feature specifically in the purchasing order cycle. So an example would be, for example, when you place an order with your supplier and the supplier delivered the goods on the order in different intervals. Once the items on the order have been fully delivered, the supplier will then submit one invoice for the multiple deliveries. In this particular scenario, you can, use, you can efficiently use the merge documents feature. Let's see how this process unfolds within the application. So firstly, I'm gonna go through to my order entry transactions and purchase order. I'm going to go open up a new order, specify my supplier, and then specify the items to be ordered. So I specified my item, and I'm going to be ordering 50 units of this item. And let's just specify order date. Right, so I've got my PO number, the items to be ordered, and I'm now going to go place the order for those goods supplier. Print the PO. And I've got my information there. I'm now going to go and submit this purchase order to my supplier. Right, at this point, the order has been submitted to the supplier, and now I'm awaiting delivery of those goods from the supplier. When the first delivery arrives, I'm going to go back into order entry transactions purchase order. And I'm now going to go find that unprocessed purchase order. So I'm going to go find the order and it tells me that I've got my order number there. It's now set to an unprocessed purchase order. So double click on the transaction line. And I've got my information there and quantity ordered was 50. However, in this particular instance, 27 units of the 50 were delivered. So I'm gonna confirm quantity of 27 and let's just specify GRV date there. I have my GRV number, PO number, and I'm going to receive the stock, 27 units. If I then go and print the goods received voucher, it tells me ordered 50, I'm now receiving 27, and there's a couple of units still on back order. So I'm gonna say close, and now those units have now been received into stock. Now, on the second delivery, so once again, I'm gonna to go to open and receive the second delivery of those goods. So I'm going to go find again, just go say, and process and partially, and I say find. Right, so I've got my partially processed purchase order there. I'm going to double click on it, and it tells me once again, order quantity 50. I've now 27 currently in stock, and previously I've received 27, and now I'm going to confirm a further 18. That order, and to specify a GRV date. And you'll see that I've got my information there and I'm going to say receive stock. So not to print the order, but I am going to go print the GRV and you see that it's now 50 ordered, previously 27 received, and now 18 has been received. So there's still gonna be a quantity on back order so I can close the goods received voucher. And now I'm awaiting the remaining items to be delivered to fulfill the order. So once again, back to open. And I'm now going to go find my partially processed purchase order. And as you can see there, I've got details of the two deliveries with my GOV numbers, and they are now set to an unprocessed supply invoice. So I'm going to select my partially processed purchase order. 
and I'm now going to receive the remaining five items. So I'm going to confirm the remaining five. So ordered 50, processed or received so far 45, and I'm now going to receive the remaining or confirm the remaining five units. Just going to specify GRV date there, and I can then say receive stock. If I now go and look at my GRV, we see that ordered 50, previously I received 45, and now I'm receiving the remaining quantity of five, and the order quantities have now been completely fulfilled. No more units are currently on back order. So I'm going to say close, and I'm going to close the screen, and let's just go look at our, back into our inventory inquiries transaction history and let's just go find the item and if i say view you'll see that i've got details of the three grvs the 27 the 18 and the 5 which makes up my 50 units so those items are now currently in stock and now i would have received the supplier invoice which would be one invoice incorporating the three deliveries of those items so I'm going to go back into order entry transactions and purchase order. And now I'm going to be making use of the merge feature. So I'm going to go into open. And I'm going to go and find. And what you'll see then is that we've got the three line items there. We've got our three separate GRVs, GRV numbers and they set to unprocessed supply invoice. Now, if I happen to highlight all the three line items, you'll see that the merge option is not available. Now, very importantly is when using the merge feature, you need to really go and filter on the supplier name. So I'm gonna go and specify firstly the supplier account, specify my supplier. And now if I say find, and highlight all three line items to incorporate on the supply invoice, you see that the merge option is now available. So now I can merge those three line items into the one supply invoice. I'm going to use a merge feature. There's my three line items. I Now I'm going to specify the supply invoice number. And now I would need to specify my GRV number, which would I can, for example, I can specify all three GRV numbers that make up the transaction. So I can say, for example, or I can add all three GRV numbers. I can also say, for example, under order number, I can, for example, specify the order number, or I can just put in a reference number for reference purposes. So. And I can then say process invoice. And then view the supply invoice. And I've got details there. There's the three, the three details of the deliveries, the 27, the 18, and the 5. And the supply invoice has now been processed. Say close. And Let's just go view the suppliers account now. So I'm going to go into my suppliers. I'm going to go into supplier information. Locate my supplier and right click inquire. And if I go to my transactions, there's my supplier information, the supplier reference number or the supply invoice number, and the transaction has now been allocated to the suppliers account. I'm going to say close, and if I then revert back to my order entry, I'm going to go back into my transactions, purchase order, and open, and let's just go and find, let's go select all, and what you notice there is that if you look at a couple of transactions, you'll see that we've got the archived and the merged options there. There's our three GRVs. So we've got the archived and merged, archived and merged, 
and it tells me that those transactions have been archived and merged. So as you can see, the merging of documents is really very useful, specifically in the scenario where purchase, where goods are purchased, the goods are delivered in separate intervals, and you can then merge the different delivery documents, being the GRVs, into and combine them into one supply invoice. I do hope you've enjoyed the presentation. Thank you for tuning in. It's over and out for me, and goodbye.